everybody welcome back to homestead heart and today i am outside this evening the rain literally stopped moments ago i have been trying to get out here <laughs> but the rain the rain the rain but you all today i am going to be opening and unpacking my onions from dixon dale farms as you can see the box has not been opened and we are going to open it together so we can have a look at what I have ordered way back in June or July of 2020. Let's have a look. Got to pull out my blade. Okay, so I have in this box some Texas Early White, Red Creole, and some Texas Super Sweet. I have a mix in this box. So let's go ahead and have a look at what I got here. All right. And this is what I have. That's a lot of onions, y'all. Oh, and they're very dry. Let's see. Okay, so uh, these are clearly different. But I'm not sure which is which. I'm just going to take these and put them over here. Well, let's see. I guess this is the Texas Early right here. So I'm going to sit those there. This one doesn't have a label, but it's different. So I'm going to sit this one right over here. <laughs> wow, and they smell so good. Man, they smell awesome. Okay, so four Texas Early White. There they are. Two red Creole. That's them. And then the rest of these are the Texas Super Sweet. All right. Awesome. So I can put all of these back in the box. Okay. So now what, you, what I'm going to do, you all, is go through this daunting task of separating them all. I'm going to grab one of my 1020 trays here and I'm going to open these up and get them separated. And what I mean by separate is I want to separate the smaller onions from the really big onion. And again, this is the red Creole. So I'm going to put, let's see, I'm going to loosen these up a bit. So as you can see, like for example, you have some that are pretty big and some that are really small. So the pretty big ones I'm going to put to one side and the really small ones I'm going to put to the other side. And that will just allow me to get the absolute best onions, the largest ones. Now this is kind of medium. I don't really know about that one just yet. But these are all pretty small right here. But I'll grab these. Those are nice size. Put the mediums, mediums right there and make a decision on those. That's pretty small. So is that. And that. Now, that one doesn't look like a red Creole. This one looks like a different variety. I'm going to sit that there. But this is all small. These itty bitties. Oh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one too. So, it looks like 
for the most part, the medium and the large size onions are going to be the ones that I choose to actually plant as onions to get actually bulbs on them. Yeah. All right, so that's the red creole. So I got all these itty bitties right here, and then I have the larger ones here, and I'll just sit them like this and move on to the next. Oh, wait, I have more. <laughs> I have another one. <laughs> another red creole. All right, y'all, now moving on to the Texas Early White Onions. Now, the reason why I'm getting all of these separated like this is because sometimes the larger onion bulbs will do a much better job at, at, at bulbing than the smaller ones so I'm not going to throw them away I'm going to plant them in my raised beds along the row the edges of the garden beds just plant the onions and they will make some delicious scallions some delicious green onion so that's what I'm going to do now this is the red and I'm going to put the white on that side Look at that, that's a nice big bulb. That's awesome. Doing it this way will make it a lot easier when it comes time to planting them. I won't have to do all of this sorting when I'm actually getting ready to plant them. This is gonna make it a whole lot easier to just do it this way. Do it ahead of time. Get them ready. All right, you all, so I am nowhere near done <laughs> getting all of these onion plants separated but just to show you for example this versus that okay so the smaller ones again I'll be putting those in my raised bed. I'll be lining the edges of my raised beds with these onion plants, okay? Not only do they help with like pest control too, but it'll be great to come out and just have just some green onions to just cut and use fresh every single day. And I'll be putting them in our uh, lettuce beds as well, just to kind of go around make a complete border and I'm going to take y'all along with me when I do that because having the salad mixed together the onions together it's a complete salad okay so I'll be taking y'all along with me when I get them planted I have to get the beds ready as well but like I said it's been raining so that I didn't I haven't had a chance to get the beds ready and I was hoping that the onions would come before the rain so that maybe I could have a day to get them separated and then another day to get them planted and that didn't work they were delivered in the midst of the pour down <laughs> so I could not do anything with them when they arrived but thankfully the rain has stopped for now hopefully tomorrow will be a bright sunny day and I can come out and get the bed ready and get the onions planted and I will show you how I amend my garden beds for planting onions okay but it's all going to be based upon the weather because if it's raining that means they gotta wait even longer okay and they are somewhat dry they really are i'm actually thinking about just getting the water hose and just kind of lightly giving them a spray down just to give them some um a bit of a drink of water because i really believe they they could probably use it you know and um yeah i might do that or i might just stand them up in the tray right here i might just stand them up like so you know make sure they're all touching the bottom 
and put a little water in the bottom of this pan. My 1020 tray does not have holes in them. Um, this is just um, this is just a flat that does not have the holes. I actually prefer this one, especially if my cups or if my tray, my the trays that will sit inside the seed starting trays themselves, if they have holes in them, I prefer to have a flat that does not. Okay, so you all, I am going to pause this because it's getting cold out here and it's about to start sprinkling again <laughs> so i'm gonna pause here i got the the mud on my hands the mud is so cold my hands are the coldest things out here <laughs> so i'm gonna go ahead and pause here but i'm thinking about taking these and just maybe getting on uh the porch with them and go ahead and finish sorting them out so that I can at least have all of that part done. So I have tons of them to get sorted like this because I want to make sure I want to make sure that I plant the largest bulbs possible. I do. I really want to. And and it's okay, for example, some of them like this one, and then you have one that's a little bit smaller. That's okay, you know, they it just it's okay that we plant them that way. It doesn't mean that the onion won't grow well. It doesn't mean that at all. It just means that I want to choose which ones I want to give the chance to become a nice big bulb of an onion. And the others, they got a use too, right? I'm not gonna be starting my own onion seeds this year, and I'm not going to be starting my own um bunching onions. I have a lot of bunching onion seeds that I have not used and I'm not going to be using them this year because I'll just take the smaller ones like so and I'll let these be my bunching onions, right? So my little green scallions that I could cut and they'll keep growing. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to do it. You all, I have, it smells all oniony in the, around here. <laughs> You know, but that's going to do it. I am going to take these up. I need to go in and just kind of warm my hands up. They're getting so cold, I can hardly wiggle them. So that's it, you all. Oh, by the way, um, the seed store, in case you missed the previous video and the community post, the seed store is up and going. Now, um, the seeds that are on, we do have more of them coming on the site. I just haven't packaged them yet. And once I get them packaged and counted, then I can put them on because I like to be accurate with what I have. So I'll get them packaged and counted, and then I will put them on the seed store. So it is a work in prog uh, progress because it does take a lot of time to do, I mean, hours upon hours when you're dealing with a lot of seeds and you're trying to package them all just right. It does take time to do that. It's not something that I just rush and do. I like to make sure that I do my best to do it um, right. That's, you know, that's it, okay? So it does take a little bit of time because I do have other chores that I'm working on and other projects that I'm working on as well. I'm still in the midst of building. So I am gonna pause this before I lose complete sun or stop this video before I lose complete sun and go kind of warm my hands up a bit because I do want to come back out and put the finishing touches on my build so I can go ahead and get that video done as well. I'm excited to share that with y'all. So, okay. So that's, and I'm proud too. I'm so proud because the majority of it I had to do alone. But Mr. H, when he was available, oh, did he come through like a champ? Boy, that's a soldier. <laughs> so, y'all, that's going to do it for today. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and give our video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. And also, just thank you to everybody who has been supporting our journey along the way in, in so many different ways. You know, just thank y'all so much for all of your love, your support, everything. Just thank y'all so much. All right. So, okay, y'all, that's it. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. <laughs> I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Onion video. <laughs> Oh, they smell good, but they are dirty. <laughs>